everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are going on a brand new WWE action figure toy hunt. We're going to be hitting up a few stores now, and it's been a bit dry as of late, and that's why we haven't done a toy hunt in a while. It's actually been, I want to say a few weeks, like I've been looking over the channel. It's been, it's been, let me see, it's been almost three weeks now, almost a month, and it's because my stores, I would go, and there'd be nothing, and it'd be like, well, why would I upload this? You know, like, why am I going to, like, I'll always record, i always record, and then I walk in there, and it's like, what is this? and I don't want to just show you the same things over and over again. So hopefully today will be different. I guess if I'm uploading this video, maybe it was. Maybe we found some stuff on the hunt, but it is an interesting day. We're going to dive in there, see what we can grab. We'll come back here. We'll discuss the things we found. We'll discuss some things that I also picked up this week, and we'll get into it, man. But anyways, man, I'm getting out of here. I'll see you guys on the hunt, and then we'll come back here to discuss it all. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we're working with right here. I didn't notice anything. Okay. Oh, snap. Batista Ultimate Edition. This is not my first time seeing this, but it's very cool to see it, you know, in your area. You see this in your area? That's always a dub right there. Got a couple of those. Looking pretty good right here. I don't think I need any extras of these. They had this is a restock. They had these last week. But Top Picks Ray, Top Picks Rock. Very good figures. Just not, you know, I just uh, I think if they were marked down, maybe. Got four Anna J's. Got some battle packs, nothing too crazy with those. She, these have been here for years. China for years. These will be here till next year, I'm sure. A few battle packs, nothing too immaculate. You guys can see Brett, Undertaker. Not like terrible selection. I love the Ray. You know, the Rock and the, this Rock and this Ray are like two of my favorites this year. But the Batista, this is also one of my favorites this year. Probably my favorite figure so far this year. But you know, we got to fix up the aisle. It's the way we do. So we'll fix up the aisle and. Get everything going. I mean, I, I deserve a check for all the work I be doing in these stores. They're usually just brutalized, but... Big E. You know, I, I did see where apparently Stacy Keebler and that set's hitting. So we'll have to see about that, but... I don't think there's anything else, man. Need to find a chase. Gotta find a chase, but... Yeah, I, I want to buy these for the cards, but I don't feel it. On to the next one. Alright, boys, let's see what we got here. Lots of AEW, like a lot. Chuck Taylor. Got another Chuck Taylor. Trent and Trent. Okay, so we got some Unrivaled Series 8. This is actually really nice. About to check the condition. I do not have those then on car, but looks like a lot of Series 1, Series 2, got Series 3. Will these be on the pegs when Series 4 hits? That's, that's the real question. Ooh, Jericho. Nice little piece right here. Might have to take that one. Nyla. Santana, a lot, you know, just lots of the same stuff you find with AEW figures, man. It's like I feel like you can get you can get any character you want from any of the figures, like everywhere. I feel like they're everywhere. I know some people you either have a ton or you don't have any. I feel like, but Elite 85, this is that same store where you remember when there was like 50 of each. Same store. I know every Walmart has is stocked up on these Jeffs. Tons of Jeffs. Goldberg. Morley 85, Bray Wyatt, Jesus Christ. Bend and Bash, more lives. I may buy out all the lives. I feel like, you know, we haven't gotten a live in a long time. I could, like, customize them and stuff. Got some Cody's. Ooh, got some Superstars Hogan. Very cool. Unpunched. Got a little damage. Hate to see that, but I think all of them have damage, I believe. Yeah, it looks like all of them are kind of damaged, but they're unpunched. So, you know, if you're not, like, too, too picky, you might be able to do that. Unrivaled 8 Jericho. I think I'm going to grab this. Might grab some other things, but I'm going to set that off to the side. This whole aisle, man, look how wrecked. It's always like this. It looks a lot better than it usually does. It's got the Sting buddy. But it's just, I don't know, man. The, the, whoever comes here, it's like they just see the aisle all fixed up, and then they just assault the aisle for whatever reason. But I don't see any, like, figures hidden or anything, which is, you know... Not seeing anything too crazy, but I think we got some decent little pickups right here. You got figures up, you know, stocked on the top, but I think that pretty much wraps it up. Like, not a bad. Tons of selection, just not like a ton. I don't know. It's not It's not horrible, you know. I'm not going to say that, but a little 85 up there. But, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. 
Alright guys, we are back home after the toy hunt, and I must say, it was a pretty good day. I think it was a good day. Now, one thing that I have to get out of the way immediately is that you guys will, first of all, notice that I do have two Ultimate Edition Batistas back here. Now, these are not the ones we saw on the toy hunt. I actually got these at my Target uh, on pickup order. I, I get on the Target app, I type in Ultimate Edition Batista. If you guys do not have the Target app, download the Target app. You go on there, you can search up any figure. If they have it on their website, you can check it and you can check in stock and you can put your zip code in there and it will legitimately tell you if your store has it in stock if there's limited availability all those different things and if your store doesn't have it it gives you a list of stores that are near you within like 50 or 100 miles or something like that and they will tell you so it's amazing i wish walmart had something like that man i have picked up so many great figures so many figures i've been looking for because of the target app so definitely go check that out but we did grab two of the ultimate edition batista i have i think three of these loose yeah i think i have three loose of these and then i have a few of them mint on card i just think it's it's one of my favorite figures mattel's ever made and it's just so nice it's so nice so i did leave those other two at the target and uh i hopefully somebody else can grab those you know so I, I doubt they'll stay there long it's a very hot figure right now but these are not the ones these are actually two extra that i got a couple weeks ago actually so i just ordered for pickup i said they were in stock i didn't want to risk going there on a toy hunt i just wanted to grab them and pick them up so that's what i did there so i did get two extra of the Batista men on card here and I don't know what I'll do with these I may sit on it I may trade it I, I don't know we'll, we'll see what comes of it but uh, I just love this figure but I wanted to leave those extra two just in yeah you know, I just I'm not gonna buy up every single one I might should have now another thing that we got in this week outside of what we picked up on the toy hunt of course is we also got our elite 94 collector's edition British Bulldog and I don't know if I want to review this or not you guys can let me know if you want to see this reviewed I guess if I review this it'll probably be in a multi figure or like multi multiple figure unboxing or something like that you know when i get a bunch of figures met on card then we just do like a marathon unboxing that may be what we do with this we'll have to see about that but we also grab the british bulldog and then the last thing that we got is right here now this was great it came to the door yesterday it is the shop aew one of three thousand kenny omega figure i have been waiting on this beauty for a while now i think this is the most beautiful met on card aew figure so far and i'm gonna do a review of it if you guys want to see a review of it stay tuned to the channel we're gonna do it i know everybody's gonna say it's just it's unrivaled for kenny yeah but it, just look at it you get a sick ass shirt a beautiful this is an incredible packaging i just love it so i did get my one in the defender and then i also got a couple over here so I do have like an extra one, you know, for emergency purchases and or purposes and stuff like that. So I do have the one here. And then I have my one that I will be opening. This one has the most damage, I think. And all three of them came pretty damn minty men. Like it was actually really, really nice. But of course we are going to get into that this figure is just so gorgeous i cannot wait to show you guys the details of this packaging in the review but we did get a third one for uh for loose you know because i want to have at least one on card one in the loose there and i know it's on rival four with a custom shirt but i wanted the official shirt you know i wanted it officially loose not just oh it's a custom shirt on the unrival four this is actually the figure itself so you know that, that's the one thing and i'll probably hang on to the packaging because it's so beautiful it's so nice if i could buy 20 of these i would i just think it's just beautiful it really is and the ever-growing men on card and loose Kenny Omega collection continue. But now that we have gotten into the things that kind of rolled through the door this week, let's get into what we grabbed on the toy hunt. Now, you guys saw at Target, they didn't really have much. I was this close to buying all the Anna J's simply just for the unmatched cards. I think that I could get those, add those to the collection, do those different things. But diving into the Walmart haul, man, first of all, we did grab Trent. We picked up Trent. Now, if you guys were not aware, I do not have Unrivaled Series 8 men on card. The only ones that I have from Unrivaled Series 8 men on card are actually Jericho and Moxley. So I've been seeing that I've been able to find every Unrivaled or Unmatched set at retail pretty pretty re like religiously. You know, they're they're there. I can I can pretty much track down any Unrivaled or Unmatched set. I have not struggled to find those at all. So I didn't feel like pre-ordering these from ringside. Now, if it's a really good set like Unmatched Series 4, with CM Punk. I went ahead and pre-ordered that set. I'm going to pre-order the uh, the Unmatched Series 5 as well. I think that set's really strong because I, I just love the figures. I think they're fantastic. So I'm going to pre-order those in certain waves depending on how good they are. Unrivaled 13 with Dan Housen and Jeff Hardy. I'll probably get a bunch of those unfortunately, but 
I, uh, for, for certain waves, I, you know, I have my set to review, and then uh, for my mental card set, I try to find them in the wild. That way you can pick out, you know, the damage and things of that nature, but we did add Trent from Unrivaled Series number 8, and we also had to grab Chuck Taylor, right? So we had to complete that. So Cassidy and Chris Statlander are the only two that we are missing now from our uh, men on card set there for Unrivaled Series number 8. So we did get Chuck Taylor. These were the two that were in the best condition. I thought they looked pretty dead gum minty. You know, there, there's that. But I don't know, man. I don't even have room for these. So, you know, it's a, it's a ever... if it's it, I, I need a basement, okay? I need a freaking basement. And the last figure that we picked up is actually going to be another Unrivaled 8 Jericho. I figured that this could make for great fix-ups. You know, you can make a Painmaker Jericho. You get an extra Inner Circle shirt. Maybe we could uh, put this Inner Circle shirt on a different Jericho. Add a regular Jericho torso, and then we could put, you know, this this head sculpt on something else. We'll figure something out, but I, I figured, you know, you find that at retail, you might as well grab it. And I don't know, I might keep it in the box. I already have this on card. I don't know. I just thought, you know, it's a beautiful looking figure. This is the best figure in Unrivaled 8, I think. It just looks the best. It's the most appealing. It's the most toyetic, if you will. So there is that. But that is all I grabbed. You know, I have the three figures there, and then, of course, I do have all the figures behind me. Got to review the Kenny. Got to hang the one Kenny up on the wall. Uh, don't know what I'll do with Bulldog. I may just unbox it and have it for another day. I don't know. And then I got to put up those and then, you know, get everything ready. But I ordered a bunch of figures on eBay recently. I actually just had one canceled on me for no reason. So we'll see about that. But we got some epic stuff coming. I spent a lot of money on these fix-ups and stuff. It's something that I want to see come to fruition. You know when you have a really cool fix-up in mind or you have some ideas that you want to bring to fruition, you got to buy the parts and make it happen, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I do have to get into the random shout-out before we get out of here. And this shout-out today is actually going to go to Prince Seb, who says, so I don't know if you've thought about this or thought of this or if this is already said but idea for pay-per-view after my damn nation md tlc my damn tables letters and chairs your own version of tlc sorry if it's unoriginal or bad but it just hit me while looking at the new table now what i like about this is i actually like the name of it like my damn tables letters and chairs i think that's pretty cool and how it's like md tlc i think you can make a really sick logo for the pay-per-view now i don't know if i would do a full pay-per-view on that you know because i don't like gimmick pay-per-views i like to have names like indication as like the name of the show and then you have you know hell's gate and you have sold out and you have like these names and like kind of edgy sort of early 2000s ish names for your pay-per-views i like the the originality of those but something like that you could have like an md tlc match or you could do maybe a one-off action figure match or something like that i think that would be super badass but i thought that comment was really cool and i think that's awesome so prince seb shout out to him man that was awesome but huge shout out to prince seb man thank you guys so very much for watching if you guys would like a future shout out in a future video leave me a comment on this video and you could earn yourselves a shout out in the next video so i appreciate that man but i'm getting out of here i hope you guys have a blessed day and uh yeah have a great one